Hey, everybody. Thank you for downloading episode 157 of We Got This with Mark and Hal. This was recorded live at Booty Works in Sherman Oaks. And if you want to see the exercises that you hear Mark and I talking about with our guest, Sidney Benner, you can go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash We Got This Podcast, and you can see the whole thing in excruciating detail. And I do mean excruciating. And when you're done, if you enjoyed what you saw and you're enjoying what you hear, and you haven't yet given us a rating and a review on Apple Podcasts, now is the time to do it. Help new people find the show. My wife Jennifer is here. Jennifer, do you agree? Yes. There you go. You heard it straight from Jennifer's mouth. Go leave that review on Apple Podcasts. Let people know what you love about the show so they can fall in love too. But for now, please enjoy episode 157 of We Got This with Mark and Hal. Hello, I'm Hal Lublin. And I'm Mark Gagliardi. Since the dawn of humanity, one issue has gone unsettled. With the fate of the world in the balance, we're here to settle once and for all. Best exercise. That's right. Don't worry, everyone. We got this. Podcasts should have a theme song. Podcasts should not have a theme song. Yes, they should. No, they shouldn't. They sound good. Yeah, but people are just going to skip past it. Hmm. You know what? You're right. We got this. Wow. What's up, wow. Booty Works? Unbelievable. Hello, Booty Works. You guys feeling it tonight? Are you feeling it tonight, Hal? Yeah. Hal's, uh, that was not Hal. I think that was Hal's wife. <laughs> that was feeling it for you. Yeah. Hal. I'm, I'm doing all right. Hal. Look, I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to be totally honest. I was using the bathroom earlier this evening, and I have an Apple Watch, so I was checking my resting heart rate. Uh-huh. A cool 58 beats per minute. I was practically asleep. It's 106 right now. <laughs> this is not a lie. It is. A, it says 106 beats per minute. That's how nervous I am. This is going to be great. We have a dear friend who is going to help us out with this whole thing. Yes. Uh, she is... The fitness instructor to the stars of the We Got This podcast, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Sydney Benner. You are so silly. Hi, Sydney. Hello, Mark Gagliardi and Hal. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm I'm reserving judgment <laughs> until later. Fair, Not of you. Fair uh, enough, I just wa- fair I mean, I want to be honest with how I'm feeling. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, good for you. This is, uh, there, there are also only two, uh, that's stools okay. up here. One of us I'll at just, all times will be moving. I'll just squat. That, that's gonna be part of the, that's part of the game. Exactly. Um, so before we start here, let's have a seat. Let's okay. all, let's all just pow style great. and, okay. and chat. I'm just gonna um, sit on this stool. That's since, a lot I know, of... I brought two stools and then one. <laughs> levels. Yeah. I'm already exactly. bending levels. one knee. Yeah, we're doing levels right <laughs> yeah. now. So, um, talk to us about, uh, fitness and working out just in general, your experience. I know that you have, uh, you, you've sort of taken off that as that path for you has become a huge part of your life. Uh, for me, I am trying, I keep trying to make this path part of my life. Mm-hmm. I keep trying and I last like a month. Mm-hmm. Mark, what? Are you wearing boxer briefs under a swimsuit? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's it's like workout shorts that have like little bike shorts under them. You guys, I'm real hip. I swear, and you deny this, Sydney. Maybe you can confirm. I yes. bet because he came here. Has he worked out wearing cargo shorts? <laughs> the Actually, laughter means believe, yes. I don't believe so. No. He. Let me tell you something. Please. Okay, you have been in class recently. I have. Yeah. He oh, started, I'm in the middle of that month. You okay? So I've seen you about. Two, two times in class now. You have three. to treat, th- okay, three yeah. times in class. My apologies. Three <laughs> times in class great. now, which is great. Uh huh. Yeah. You should acknowledge that. That's awesome. You have to treat it like you're taking a shower. Hopefully we all shower and bathe every day mm-hmm. or brushing your teeth. You just have to move more. If you move more, you're going to feel better. And pr- I promise, right? Yeah. I mean, come on. Move more. Yeah. Move more. So that if, if, if no other advice than that, if this episode ended right now, if the feed Move was cut more. and this building were suddenly lifted <laughs> up with balloons like it was up, then that would be. We, I brought balloons. You today. did bring balloons. They I look did. amazing. Um, that would be it. Move more. Just Move add more. a little something. Yeah. And you, it doesn't have to be, 
anything crazy, I think we can overthink it so often and it feels really intimidating instead of like, maybe I'll just go on an extra long walk today. I'll just move my feet a little longer. And that's good. I see. That's where you and I are different because I don't know, Hal, if you're like this, if I'm in a parking lot, <laughs> I try to park close so I don't no. have to walk. Oh. I, don't, I don't want my car to get scratched, so I park it far. You have a nicer car than I do. <laughs> you know those security videos where it's like a storefront and it all seems calm, then a car crashes through? <laughs> that's me parking the shop. <laughs> And in fact, all I do is roll down a window and yell an order out and hope they'll bring it over. Like, sir, this is a Macy's. We do not do that here. Doritos. <laughs> Toss. Yeah. Peanut you know M&Ms. If you don't, can you go? I saw, uh, I crashed into a 7-Eleven like five minutes ago. You can go there. I know. I saw I knocked over like a whole shelf of those things. Oh, my goodness. Um, so... What we want to do, the, the reason we wanted to do this episode, the reason I was really excited about doing this is, yeah, as people that like, as how, what's your, we, we haven't talked about this. What is your experience, uh, with exercise? Like, what's your story with it? I've, I've gone in and out. Mm-hmm. I worked with a trainer for like six to eight months. So that was a couple times a week going, doing weights and like a little cardio, but a lot of like weights, mm-hmm. uh, muscle confusion type stuff. Um, for a while, this is true. I love that I have more, I bet you I have more exercise history than you do, Mark, which absolutely baffles you do. both of us. Uh, for a while, I would wake up at like four in the morning. I would go to the local Y. I would swim for an hour wow. and then I would write. I was working on a, uh, on a just shoot me spec script. If that dates <laughs> about what year it was, that show was still on the air. I was writing for cheers. Yeah. I'll put it this way. Phones didn't take pictures the last time I swam <laughs> regularly. So it's just been on and off. Like I enjoy playing basketball and stuff. My wife, who uh, is in the back of the room, she's like been a Pilates instructor. She does yoga. She was an athlete, like a twelve sport athlete in high school. So she's wow. always there like, are twelve sports. Yeah, <laughs> there are exactly twelve wow. sports, and she's and she all did of them. all twelve of them. Yeah, but she's the one who's like in the like we'll wake up on the weekend and she'll be like, "All right, come on, let's go to the gym," and I go, "Yeah, have fun." That's a good partner. That's a yeah. good wife. And then I melt into the sofa for 45 minutes. <laughs> right after. Yeah. All right. Well, that, so that's a little of our history with, uh, with exercise. So what we're here to do today is we are going to figure out, uh, I don't know how many uh, people in this room. I know, uh, hopefully many of the people watching on Facebook live, unless you just stumbled on this show, um, or listening at home, uh, know that what we do on this show is we settle uh, we settle the dumb debates. But this is not a dumb debate. Usually it's, you know, should you put ketchup on a hot dog? Should you hang your toilet paper overhand or underhand? Star Trek or Star Wars? But this time it's, uh, this time it's a little more important. This is, this is life. This is our hearts. This is our bodies. This is the one instrument we were given. So we are going to determine once and for all today, what is the single, there's no point in doing this, but we're doing it anyway. The single <laughs> greatest exercise move of all time. Right? It deserves a round of applause. It deserves a round yeah. of applause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let me get us started by bringing out the big board if y'all want to okay. chat. Okay. So we, sure. we stand now. All yeah, right. this was a negotiation uh, in the in the locker, the changing area here at <laughs> yes. Booty Works. The As, beauty room. Yeah, Mark is divided mm-hmm. into quadrants. He had a whole list of exercises. <laughs> Did he place them correctly? Sort of. Well, <laughs> Close enough. We'll have to see. We'll have Close to enough. see. But yeah. there was a lot of like, what goes where? What about this exercise? What about that exercise? Mm-hmm. At, at one point, I don't, not to spoil it for the people who can't read it from far away or the people who are listening and cannot read it at all. The word curls is on there to which Mark said, is that that thing you do with weights? Yep. <laughs> this is the, you guys, seriously, if we can do it, the whole world can do it. It's the most like Mark approach to exercise yeah. possible. You're Which like, one's that? I'll do it. Yeah, what's that again? I don't know. Let's all go right. ahead. Um, all right. Uh, so it looks like we, we've got the board set up right here. Uh, I will just, uh, we'll, we'll go through them one by one. Everybody in the room can read them, but for those on, you know, online, let's not yell them out. Not that you would. Um, we're going to start. Which one do you want to start with? We'll start with strength. Start with strength. We'll All start right. With number one. So our strength list. Here's how this is going to work. We have four quadrants here, uh, and each one has a collection of uh, of exercises. We are going to pull one winner from each category, and then we are going to determine uh, in a final battle royale those four pitted against one another. Sound good? Sounds good. Great. Sure. So let's start. 
with strength. Uh, Hal okay. or uh, Sid, you want to read that off? I've got to grab something back here. Sure. So the first, mo- and by the way, I think we all should be doing this together. Yes. Right? We need to move, move more. So we're going to start with number one, strength with push-ups. I personally think that this is one of the most challenging moves in fitness altogether because your form in a push-up is so specific and you have to engage your entire body. Oh, oh, I wasn't aware we were doing costume changes. Okay. <laughs> I just had to get ready. My mic was off. Oh, my God. All right. Let's do this, y'all. Uh, you were talking. We're starting with, okay. The list we have, we have push-ups, curls, press, squats, and whatever it is that Rocky did when he was off in the woods. Um, so we'll start, we'll start with push-ups. Start with push-ups. Yeah, so are you my demo? Sure. You're ready. I'm ready. So's Hal. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, <laughs> not quite like that. All right. So we're going to start with the push-ups. So, Mark, I need you to get into a plank position. Okay. Your palms are underneath your shoulders. There you go. Nice long spine. You gotta engage belly button to spine. So you never want to drop into your lower back. Okay. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank. Hal just, you, Hal just stuck a mic in my face so you could hear me breathing. <sighs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So pull your shoulder blades back. Okay, don't drop your belly though. There you go. Shoulder blades back. My belly drops. You gotta keep it engaged. That's key, cause otherwise then you put pressure on your spine. So now, when you bend your elbows down to do a push up, you wanna get your chest as low to the floor as you possibly can, but don't bend, yes, 45 degree angle with the elbows, reach back up, push yourself up. There's a weight, there, that weight went like in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> It was like I was going to pick up that weight with my mouth. All right, let's move the weights out of the way. Right. Here we go. Now, try again. And I want commentary as you lower and you lift. Here we go. I've been here for a while already. Here we go. All right, we're Mark, lowering. You, I'm staying down here. Now I'm going back great. up. doing great. That's the harder part. Yes. The second half is the harder half. This part okay. is real easy. Okay. Yeah. And this part is a little harder. Wow. Um, yeah. 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 You just did what three full push-ups. <laughs> three. And I am exhausted. <laughs> that is three more push-ups yeah. than I've ever done in my life I, without being like elevated. Until today, oh, how? Oh, okay. Or on my knees. All okay. Right. Um, That's okay. What I'm, do you think? I'm looking of... a lot of weight here. Let's be honest. I've lost fifty pounds so far. Congratulations, Hal Loveland. That's awesome. Thank you. Fifty yes. pounds. I have like 90 to go. That's Honestly, a, that's just how? being honest. You should be super proud of yourself. I'm very proud. I'm yeah. very proud. It's a marathon, not a sprint. It's taking a while. Yeah. Ongoing process. You're going to be doing push-ups in no time. Definitely uh, went crazy on Valentine's Day last night. So we're going to see what comes up. Went crazy okay. like ate I'm chocolate. I'm going to try. All right. You're doing it. I'm willing to try. Okay. okay give but it a try. i got to try. Just to All be right. clear, Hal, went crazy like ate chocolate or went crazy like it was the purge? Like killed a family? <laughs> if the... F- if the family is a lasagna. Ooh. Wait, was it Jen's lasagna? Cause her lasagna is fantastic. Yes, it was. We made it together. That's the third purge movie, y'all. The couple yeah. that bakes together has stomach problems together. <laughs> True story. <laughs> all right. I'm going to try. All right. All right. Let's do it. A commentary right. as you do it. All right, Hal, you, you got this. You can modify on your knees, right? I'm going to try. I'll try. Okay. I'll try a full one. Uh-huh. And then okay. I'll go on my knees with no shame yeah. for anybody out there. If you're out there uh, playing along at home, there's absolutely no shame in shortening shortening your stance. Totally. Isn't that what we're calling it? To- sure. Yeah. Well, any modifying. Expert. Any well, Hal gets ready. Modifying. Any modifications? I think that's fair to say. Totally. Like if you got to modify something, you got to modify something, right? Absolutely. And as long as it, would you say, uh, keep moving, move more, move more, move more. Yeah. Great. You ready, Hal? Yeah. Here we go. Hal, you got okay, this. Okay. Ready? Okay. Okay. Ready. And anybody out here who wants to uh, practice along with these moves, please feel free. Everyone should be doing this. No by one the way. has moved. Yeah. <laughs> Listeners, this audience is still sitting. All right, I'm on the ground. Hell, you got this. Something happened. I'm on the ground. I started. I went like 10%. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. And then the ground seems so nice. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I've missed that ground. <laughs> Haven't been here since I was sitting on it a little while ago. <laughs> Here's what I'll do. I'll go on the knees. Okay, I'll try it there. Okay, now let's so now we're. Now we'll go. Now I'm down. And I'm up. Oh, that's okay. so painful. Down. There we go. And now, oh, yeah. One more? Three. One more? Three. Three, Three is the rule, Hal. Yeah. Three. Boom. All right. Yeah. 
All right, now, now our audience has to do three. All right, you heard Sandy. Yeah. She's the boss. Because we're deciding now this together. So if they don't do it, That's then right. we can't really decide. All right, everybody. Palms under those shoulders. Gentle bend in the elbows so there's no hyperextension. Nice long spine. If you need to get down to your knees, get down. You're going to bend your elbows at a 45-degree angle back. Here we go. Lower down and rise. Nice. Yeah. Down and rise. Nice. One more. Down and rise. Stretch back. Awesome, yeah. everybody. Fantastic. Awesome. Great um, job, everybody. By the way, Hal and I were going to let you slide. <laughs> Apparently, Sydney is not going to let anybody it. slide. I don't allow, I don't allow no. such a thing. No. All right. Yeah. Um, so the benefits of the push-up. Benef- Primary. Well, tons. So think about it. Your entire body is activated. Your core is activated. You have to engage belly button to spine. So if you don't, then you put pressure on your back. That's super dangerous. So you don't want any of that. You're utilizing your shoulders. You're utilizing your biceps and your triceps. You're engaging your glutes. And the length of the leg. So everything is activated on a push-up, which is awesome. So, so the whole body's working. So in our strength category, yes. uh, I, I realized, I was going to say, this one's hard to beat so far. It's the first one that we've done. Yes. <laughs> that said, this one looks like it's going to be hard to beat. This, uh, this, I am going to have to agree with you. This one this one works everything. But let's keep yeah. going. Wait, uh, can, I, can, I, can I counter? Wait. May I counter? May Please. I, may I? As somebody who has just fallen in love with the floor. I get, I get the benefits of it. Where, where it's difficult for me is that up to a certain point, everybody has to modify it. So to me, it's not an out of the box exercise where you go, Oh, push up. Yes, we can all do that together right now and do the exact same thing. My experience doing it a little different than yours, right. which is not, not better or worse, but just different. It's not something we can do together, same time, exactly the same. And that for me is where it falls down as like a best. Best maneuver in a category. Okay. Now, I'm, and I'm not, I, I'm not going to throw it out, but that's just before we're like, it's the best. Right. That's, that's well, my. It's also our first one. Yes. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of these are going to have modifications, I'm sure. Every sure. move has modifications. Um, all right. Let's move on to uh, curls. Okay. Right. Do we need a weight? Grab your weights. All right. Yep. yep. So a simple standard bicep curl. But bend your knees. Toes what, forward. There you go. What do my knees have to do with a bicep curl? Well, be, because if you hyperextend, then you're cutting off circulation in your legs. Fair so enough. bend your knees. Yeah, exactly. Bent. Engage your abs. Your abs are always activated. So oh, engaged. Yep. Man. Arm is down. My abs are always activated because I'm always sucking in my gut everywhere I go. <laughs> like, and especially when I have to do my belt. Like, that's when my abs you are the most in, engaged. You suck in. <laughs> belt. Exactly. Oh, on the same loop forever. Yeah. All right. All right. So together, we'll move together. Uh I'm going to grab it too. Here we go. So just a simple curl, rise up, up, and then all the way down, up. Now, as you lower, it's easy to just drop the weight. That can so easily happen. Don't do that. You have to find your resistance. So you curl up, resist that arm down. So your muscle continues to keep that activation. So all all the way up, tapping that shoulder, and then down. I got out of rhythm. You're up. <laughs> Immediately, I was like, I can do this. And then I was out of rhythm. Exactly. The so slow super thing, simple. The slow thing is a big part of this. Yeah, that's uh, a big thing. That, if you have something like a TheraBand, so a TheraBand is that resistance band. I mean, if you're on a Pilates apparatus, the beauty of it is mm. uh, as on the release, you keep the activation. So when you have something like a weight, it's very easy to just release the muscle instead of keep the activation and keep that engagement. It's just easy to drop it. But the beauty that you need to think about is that beautiful release. So it's like this gorgeous dance as you lift up and then you curl back down. So you're just flowing through that move. Like a gorgeous dance. Like a gorgeous dance. Also, I have no idea what a Pilates apparatus is. (laughs) Don't Um, worry. We're not getting into that today. (laughs) The curl is is great. Uh, The curl is great for one muscle, though, specifically. Correct. It works your bicep and that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's a strength move. Works the bicep. In my opinion, we can eliminate this one. It's just a very standard strength training exercise right. that you can do right. in fitness. Like but in a movie, if someone is going by Venice Beach, like the Muscle Beach, there's always a person just doing this because yeah, it's by, like the international signal for I'm working out. Yeah. And by the way, I was just at LA Fit Expo uh-huh. and the Venice Beach gentlemen who are super ripped, like unbelievably ripped, Those big had dudes. their boom box and they were walking around and they were, you just never seen muscles like that in your life. It's unbelievable. I did on my He-Man action <laughs> figures. 
Yep. That was where I saw muscles like that. I want to unpack this expo a little bit, if you you don't mind. (laughs) Yeah, sure. How much screaming is going on there? Because sometimes at a gym... Like, especially, like, at Venice Beach, you'll get, like, the, uh, uh, which is very, I, like, I get it. I get it. It's, it's an effort, and it's helping you push you. Yeah. But also, there are other human beings around. You are not in your car singing along to music. Is there a lot of that going on? Do they have, like, seminars on how to scream, how to scream politely, like, grunt, grunts and groans for advanced beginners? You know, not that I'm aware of, but I think it would be a really excellent session. Is the grunt, yeah. uh, is the, gr- while we're on these grunts, are the grunts, like, a release so you don't do something else worse, like, explode a vein in your head? <laughs> Listen, I can't explain a grunt. I don't okay. grunt while I work out. Well, I give it, I, <laughs> I give a little woo here and there, like, uh, that's yeah. also a release. <laughs> sure. It's a release. You're letting it go. You're letting it out. But a grunt is not really in my, I don't think it's in a, a grunt, like a, <gasps> it's not, I don't, sounded, I don't sounded know. like it was in you all along. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's move on to the press. <laughs> all right. Oh, you want to the do opposite I have some of other art. thoughts. <laughs> oh, this, have, oh, we're continuing sorry. On. One other question. I have my hand up. We have a lot of exercises to get through, Hal. Yeah. Uh, the people who talk to themselves. And not like encouraging, but are like, where are you on that? Just taking your temperature real quick. The grunts and groans, not necessarily. To, to what extent are you, do you have to be like your own great Santini? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm speechless. Um, no, those people at the gym aren't. They're yeah. like, oh, just, oh, oh. they're almost like reciting the entire encyclopedia. Just I angry. know. I think they just might be filled with a lot of anger. All right. But at least they're at the gym and they're getting it all out. And That's right. at least they're getting it out with themselves and not on someone else. That's yeah. true. Right? They're not yelling at other cars yeah. in traffic. Yeah, there you exactly. Go. Okay. But that was Maybe fun. they are when they all leave. Right. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, move, moving on to the press. Okay. This is uh this is the opposite of a curl, right? This exactly, is... just a shoulder press. So you use that weight. All right. This is what we can do and hold our mics. Yeah, use it. So this is similar to a curl. Raise it up and then pull it back down. All right. I mean, granted, these weights are so low. I mean, you need you guys both need something that's like a twenty, but right. it's all right. Tonight we're doing five. Do so it. raise it, raise it up. And then pull it back into <laughs> you. You guys, I feel like I'm in Les Mis. But here's the thing. If you, if you, yeah, especially right? with that outfit. Like, yeah. I need a flag. Or like Hamilton, an American musical. Yeah. You just sort of hold it. Oh, yeah, when Hamilton walks Hamilton. across the top of the star and then does that. Like that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's a press. All right. Yeah. So here's the thing. If you had a heavier weight... The right. thing, the beauty of strength training is you're still burning after you strength train. So it's great because the people are, I think especially women in general are really intimidated by a heavier weight. They're like, Oh, it's going to make me bulk up. I don't like, I don't want to be bulky. I want to be lean, blah, blah, blah. So the thing with strength training is it actually leans you out. Mm-hmm. It just depends on how heavy of a weight you're going for and you're burning a lot more after you do it as well. So you're, you are, you lean more on the side of, uh, heavier weights, lower reps. Yeah. Rather, okay. I would, uh, yeah, at these days, 100%. And we're not going to bulk up like the boombox guys from Venice Beach? No. Well, it depends how heavy you lift. If, you know, if you're li- lifting 10 Let's to say 15. Two to three pounds. Oh, <laughs> then you do high rep, low weight. I don't know. That's real heavy. Yeah. I don't know. Two to three pounds. So, uh, when we're talking, there are a lot of different presses. This is an overhead press. Mm-hmm. Overhead There's press. also like the bench yeah. press, the bench press. <clears throat> incline, bench all that exactly. stuff. Yep. Um, lots of options. It, I don't know if this is, if it's too early, but if we combine these two, cause I like the hammer curl into yep. the overhead press where you hammer come up curl, like this, lift it and up, then overhead, bring it in, bring it in, lower it down, lower it down. Bicep, That's a good shoulder, like, in yeah. and down. Yeah. That now was this- one, that was a favorite of mine. When I was like, to the point that when I didn't meet with my trainer, if I went on my own, yeah. that was the part I looked forward to the, the most because I felt strong doing it. I can do like a bench press if it's one of the machines where where it's on a track. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it just sort of wander like it's like the bar has become drunk and I can't. There's nothing I can do <laughs> can't to help stabilize it. Stabilize it. Yeah, yeah, I cannot stabilize it. Obviously, the bar's been drinking. I haven't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so this. 
All of these, though, suffer from that same thing that a curl suffers from, which is it's really only working isolated muscles, correct? Yeah, you're wor- I mean, listen, you're working a couple multiple muscle groups on a shoulder press. You've got your shoulders. You're still activating the biceps. You're still engaging your core. But in my opinion, you go back to the push-up, there's so much more happening from chest to so- back. To, yeah. So nothing has beaten the push-up no, so far. Not in my opinion. Right. What about you guys? No? Push-up. Oh, we yeah. just got a woo. Just I got a, a woo. Is that a general woo? Or was that a push-up woo? That <laughs> push was a push-up woo. woo. And I got a nod from Bryn back there. All right. Okay. So mm-hmm. so far the so far the push-up is winning. I'm gonna try to do this without knocking. You guys, this is like a three dollar easel. I'm gonna see if I can. It's a very thin easel. Okay. That I put together. Mark is erasing okay. with his finger right now for the podcast audience who's listening. <laughs> He's also wearing almost neon, like a neon yellow wristband and headband combination, but it's been washed a lot. So it's not as <laughs> vibrant, but it's like, it's bright. It's, it's like bright. me, not as vibrant, but still just a little colorful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. Um, all right. So we, look, we've, we've really only got two left in the strength category. Yeah. Uh, that are up, that are contenders up against the push-up. Mm-hmm. The push-up has battled his way through, but next he's got to face the mighty squat. Yes. Uh, I love the mighty squat. I uh, am not a fan, but I'm let's not, see I'm how this either, goes. It bothers my knees. Okay, fair enough. Here's the thing with the squat. Please. Um, so it depends. There's so many different modifications and different various moves you can do in a squat. But right. if you're starting with just a standard squat, your feet are about hip width apart, feet are parallel, toes forward, heels behind the toes. You want your weight back towards the heels and then you're going to reach your tailbone back, bend the knees, squeeze your abs, right? So the heart is open, the core is engaged, tailbone back, then lift up through the heels and engage the glutes. It feels like I'm about to sit down but then realized Hal has pulled the chair out from under me. And I'm going to be like, whoa, and I got to stand back up. Okay, fair enough. So you got, <laughs> and then when you do that, whoa, 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 what yeah. are you doing? Are you squeezing I'm grunting your like I'm at the gym with okay. a whoa, whoa, whoa. And talking to yourself. Yeah. I am, come on, you can do yeah. this. You can do this. I'm remembering now this. that for me, it's the I, my knee tweaks when I get low and come back up. So don't but go as low. when I push through my heels, then it's not as bad. I would do it like sitting on a bench sure. or a lot of times like holding like – a, a forty or fifty pound weight, yeah, and then and then doing it, yeah. And I was so and my trainer, Dell, he would always say when he had something new, he just go challenge, challenge, challenge. <laughs> Whenever I heard that, I just, like it sent a chill. My heart rate would jump to like two hundred, and I would know. And then he would, yes, yes, challenge. Because he because he right. sounds like a Slytherin challenge. wizard. Yeah, he sounds like a Slytherin <laughs> wizard. My new defense against the dark arts trainer is here. Oh to make goodness. me do squats with a giant weight. And it's, what are the squats working when we do this? So what what are you feeling? I'm it's super I'm feeling literal. it. I'm feeling it like all up in here. Okay, what is that called? This is my my core. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then why wasn't this in the okay. core when that's a whole other category? <laughs> yeah. Your core. And then what else? I feel like I'm gonna fall backwards. And every I, I'm, yeah. I'm putting all of my focus on not falling backwards. Okay, but what is the purpose of a squat? What are you what are you working? Uh, working my legs and my butt. Right? Yeah, exactly. And then you're exactly, you've got quads working, okay. calves working, I definitely glutes, feel it. Yeah. core. Everything from the waist down, I'm feeling. Yep. Almost so it, everything from the waist down, I'm feeling. Well, really shoulders down. Sh- wait, shoulders? What do my shoulders have to no, do with this? No, shoulders da- from your shoulder. Yeah. Down. So just below the shoulders. Okay. Low. And then rise up. That was real low. How did you get that low? Rise up. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That was, that was way too low. Right. Simple, functional. I mean, think about it. You've got to get in and out of your car. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean. And you can do you this. Like, you can't drop and give push-ups everywhere. But, like, you could, I guess, in theory, do this, like, you waiting in line to buy popcorn at a movie. You do it all day. You get into your car. You're like, okay, I'm going to sit down. Right. Whatever. If your car's low, you really got to get down there. You lift yourself up. <laughs> Mark, can we what please kind, go? Are you driving a DeLorean? <laughs> like, I want to go with Mark to the movies now. <laughs> So that when we're in line to buy popcorn, you're doing squats. Yeah. I gotta work this popcorn the, off, guys. That was the place you chose. Like, you know, when you're waiting to get popcorn at the movie theater. Yeah. You just cop a squat. Sure. <laughs> cop some squats. Yep. Pop some and if squats. anybody looks Pop. over their shoulder and sees you doing it, the line clears in front of you, right to the front to get your popcorn. <laughs> That's right. I'll take three boxes of cookie dough bites, please. <laughs> oh. Everyone clears. All right. Um, okay. so does this beat the push-up? That is the big question right now. Well, 
I do love a squat because it's so functional and you can really, you can do it anywhere. If you're in line at the movie theater, yeah. if getting in and out of your car, mm-hmm. grocery shopping, what, you got your cart, you're going down and up, down the aisle, you know, lots yeah. of options. Yeah. It's not like you're going to get down and do push ups. <laughs> right. You know, so it's, it's more versatile as to where you can do it. Right. And maybe not be, look so crazy. Um, but push-ups, in my opinion, are still winning. They're way more challenging. All right. And yeah. I mean, we all knew that was going to happen the way you said, look, I love a squat. Like but, you were about to break up with squats. I know. Well, and, and push-ups also have like a cultural impact. When somebody says drop and give me 20, they're not going to start squatting. You drop down. And you do push-ups. Do push-ups. Exactly. That's what you expect. It's like the, that's the, it makes you think of like the military, basic training yeah. or drop being, and give me 20 soldier. Exactly. Squats or push-ups, sir. In that way, <laughs> it's a, it's like a punishment. <laughs> with that outfit, it's really unbelievable. Well, yeah. you know, <laughs> you got it. Wait, if, you guys listening. I'm, On your shirt, is, what? is that Uncle Sam cradling an eagle? Yes, it is. It's for Team USA. And the, and the eagle is saying to Uncle Sam, tell me another story about freedom. All right. I just wanted to, I just wanted to know. All right. Yep. Okay. Team USA. It, guys, it's the Olympics happening right now. I got to show my support. Totally. <laughs> That's a um, All right. Well so done. there's only one more left in the strength category. <laughs> Is uh, chopping wood, chasing around a chicken, and beating up a side of meat, Rocky style, going to beat the push-up? And you need to do this move. So here we go. Yeah, this is this and, is very. And, yeah, you're. We were looking for banner. a specific a Rocky exercise, so I suggested a Rocky floor when he's training in Siberia, I guess. And, and he's, he's chopping, chopping wood. wood. I'm trying to really. Figure out what my body would Don't we have to, do in this instance. If only we could play, was it Go the Distance? Isn't that what's play? Go the listen? Distance. That's from Hercules. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, uh, w- There's no easy way out. Oh, that's right. There's no shortcut home. There's no easy way out. No easy, no easy, no easy way out. Punch a side of beef. Punch a side of beef. And then what do you say when you're done at the end of it all? Adrian! No, come on. You what go, you? if I could change. If I could change. And you guys could change. And you could change. And we all could change. Everyone could change. Yeah. Um, I still think Does that be- push up. <laughs> I think you think it's the push up still? What? All right, we have our first victor, yeah. the push up. <laughs> Give a round of applause hey, okay. to push ups. <laughs> Good right. job. Uh, we are going to have to get through these a little quicker. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're let's move on to uh, let's move on to core. Here are okay. our exercises well, wait, that are duking it out. Before we go into it, let's talk very quickly. Why is core so important? Great. Okay, this is honestly the most important piece of the body because without a strong core, you're not able to really utilize any sort of movement or strengthen anything else in your body. Right. So in order to even do a bicep curl or a shoulder press or a squat, you have to have a strong activated center. It's and impossible for, not to. For those who uh, are brand new to this, yes. core is uh, abs, abs, pecs, glutes, like everything that's not an arm or a leg or a head, right? Core is here. Belly. Oh, just specifically yeah, right here. It's, it's, it's really belly, but, but your core is also connected to the back. Right. So if you are not strong in, in the front part of your core, you're going to automatically put pressure on your back. And that's super danger zone because back, back pain is common. So that often stems from not having a strong center or strong core. All right. So there's All your right. little lesson. I love it. Yes. Uh, so let's go to our core moves. Uh, how you want to demo this one first? Yeah, classic let's do it. Sit up. The classic sit up. The classic sit up. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right, okay. how? All right. <laughs> Get down. Commentary. All right, here we go. This okay. I, this is my favorite part. Just laying down. <laughs> Listeners, he's laying well. on the ground. Okay. All right, ready? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Do you go all the way up, or do you do? You do you just here? Just right there. I like to go just there until. Sure, yeah, just like right there. I'm go all the way up now. Please. You want all the way up? There we go. Now my legs went too. Yeah, you don't want your legs. I'm gonna be down. honest. Yeah. I kind of did in that moment. Right, Do you want me to hold head. your feet like we did in middle school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me stand on my feet. Okay. Grab the ankles. Okay, there we go. Now go. Here we go. Okay. Exhale. There you go. Much better. All right. Three. Sorry. Three. You guys aren't seeing how you're seeing. Here we go. He's doing very well. I don't know if anybody heard me. Okay. How do How do you feel, Hal? Did I bonk the microphone? Uh, I feel fine. I like, uh, I like sit-ups. I like sit-ups a lot as a kid. Yeah. Uh, I always like, 
in my mind, I imagine like five setups. It's like a car jack, like the stomach goes down and the abs come out. I know that's not how it works. I figured that out uh, in my late teens. But uh, yeah, it feels good. My lower back, uh, like I rolled up on the on the waistband of my shorts. Oh, <laughs> that was so unpleasant. That's what hurt. But the general, I like the getting that resistance. It feels good afterwards. Yeah. It, like you can definitely tell. You've done something. You feel the good. activation. You yes, feel the heat. I feel the activation and the heat. That was exactly beautiful. What I, meant. I I love a sit up. The only thing you have to watch on a sit up is your neck because you don't mm. want to crunch it in. Your neck is still part of that spine. So if you're crunching in, then you're putting a lot of pressure on it, and you want to keep it really, really long. So the wor- the work really needs to be done throughout top to bottom in the core. You want to use the internal obliques as well create that deep activation. And is this one that also benefits from doing them slowly? Yeah. Because I always slower the myself, better. Slower the better. Yeah, slower uh, the better. I was hoping you would so not Mark, say that. So Mark, you're going to go super yeah. slow. All right, I'm going to see if I can go super slow. Okay. Because what I used to do is I would wind up rocking. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'd be like, sit-ups are easy, and I'm just baby rocking. D- does Hal need to grab your ankles? No, I okay. okay. Let's find out. I'm going to come sit by okay. your side. Okay, yeah, I need Hal to step on my ankles. <laughs> Whoa. I'm just gonna stand on your shoes. Take the chin off your chest. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just lounge on your feet. Okay. Hal's laying across, like, <laughs> like Cleopatra. This is a nice view for the audience. Oh. And then you get a little treat when you get up to the top. It's me. Hello. Hey, buddy. Um, let nice me bike this. shorts. If, uh, if you don't have exhale. a Hal. <laughs> I talk on the exhale, so I'm only going to be able to talk when I'm sitting up. If you don't have, uh, if you don't have a howl, I got it. If you don't have a howl to lay across your feet, I feel uh, bad for you. Like then a, you won't like lift a up. very masculine bear rug. Um, you, you don't lift up as high. Then you just don't lift up as high. Yeah, exactly. Okay, because that was that was a little embarrassing. That the first one, I was like, I got this. Oh, I did not get very far. Yeah, <laughs> I got like a thirty degree angle. Right, that's okay. It's, it's a, a sit up is actually a very challenging and to be honest with you, it's an advanced move. People, mm-hmm. people think that it can go into any class and it's really simple and it's easy, but truth be told, it's actually not. It's a really challenging and more advanced exercise because there's so much happening in the spine, in the core, in your legs. You're having to stabilize. You're having to keep the chin off the chest. You're really expansive and open. So all of these things matter. There's a lot of stuff going on in every single move that you do. Okay. Yeah. Why, why don't we have so, everybody here do three I, sit-ups? Yes, three sit-ups. Let's okay. go. Okay. I was going to let y'all yeah. out of it, too. Yep. Three sit-ups. Here we go. Ready? And again, if your feet are moving and you're finding yourself wobbling around, don't lift up as high, right? Just go to where you can go where you feel the stabilization. So ready? This is one. Lift up. One and down. Let's go. Two and down. Keep the elbows wide. Three. And down. Nice. How do you feel? How do you feel? Yeah, Great give job. yourselves a hand. Three Great sit-ups. Job. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to assume that everyone listening uh, and also everyone watching on Facebook Live is also doing them at this moment. Or in that moment, a moment ago. Unless you're driving. Bet, right, unless you're dri- yeah. driving and watching it. Let me ask you this. Uh, are there exercises you can do while you're driving? Oh, that's actually a very good question. Because people spend a lot of time in their cars. They do. Yeah, I do. I spend a lot of time in my car. Um, let me think about this. Huge. Well, think about the pot. I guess it's really posture. So the way just, that you're sitting, just stay you're active. often like hunched over the wheel. Just in general, you're, you're, you're hunched. Your, mm-hmm. your back is rounded. You're kind of hanging out. Maybe tummy's out. Shoulders are hunched over. If there's no one else in the car you're with li- me, I look like a monster. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, if Listening I'm like, to a trying little, to be we cool. got this, yeah. having a giggle, yeah. having a little belly activation. Oh, we're going to get to, yeah. oh, you know what? You mentioned, <laughs> let's jump to it now. Okay. This is the extra on this, this is one. extra. So um, laughing. You mentioned having a little giggle. We threw it up here as a bit of a joke. Yeah. Uh, but laughing is uh, good for your it's core. It's so good for your core. Yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite. Yeah. Well, you have a good <laughs> laughing fit. So, so last year, Mark and I were guests on the Joko cruise, which is about, which is, uh, I think it's set sail already. Sets, uh, no, it sets sail on Sunday. Next, oh, that's right. Sunday, that was alliterative. It sets yeah. sail. And, uh, for formal night, Mark mm-hmm. had had a beard and shaved it into this 1940s mustache. Yeah. Just a little mustache. So then he came to the performer's lounge where Paul Saborn and I proceeded to roast him for 30 minutes right. straight, just nonstop. 
We're all laughing. Yeah. Jokes about the mustache. Then the people who write cards against humanity come in. And it Literally becomes, the worst people to make fun of you are it, the writers for Cards Against Humanity. Just full blown. How many jokes can everybody yeah. throw out about how Mark looks like the racist attorney in a 1940s courtroom <laughs> film? All right. Um, but, but this, this was the last time I think, yeah, I hurt. I was laughing so hard. And there's yeah. a reason there's for that. There's nothing better than it, that. Yeah. Than there's laughing like, until you hurt. So yeah, guys, we're going to get some jokes coming at you real soon. Oh. Don't worry. It's going to be your workout for the night. Okay. Okay. You act like, like you're now? waiting for that. Oh, come, come on, on now. Sid. Come on now. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, bicycles. Now we're, 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 the, uh, the laugh is not, the laugh is wonderful. We shout out to laughter. We're all big Shout fans. out to it. Laughter is not going to defeat the classic sit up. It's not something you can like automatically right. activate. Uh, <laughs> either it's funny or it's not. That's true. And, 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 right? I mean, come on now. All right. Yeah. Um, we have, uh, we have three going up against the classic sit up. Okay. Bicycles. bicycles. What are bicycles and why do I not like them? I love bicycles. Here, I'll turn to the side. So you're here. We're talking about an exercise move, not an actual bicycle. Yes. Well, b- actual bicycles are wonderful too. But your legs are in tabletop. You can flex your toes or you can point your toes. Your core is activated. You want to think of your low back as like, a, you should have like a little blueberry underneath your lower back. Oftentimes we think we need to jam the lower back. Oh, thank you. Jam the lower back down into the ground. But you don't want to. You want to make sure it's natural curvature of the spine. Chin is off the chest. Nice wide open elbows. I'm going to twist. So I'm going to reach my opposing elbow past my knee and then twist and twist. <laughs> And twist. Oh boy. Twist. And twist. And twist. And twist. And you can- Don't go too fast. I'm going to hit you in the head with two microphones. And so you can go fast or slow, but the beauty of a bicycle is all the twisting movements mm-hmm. are the best for your core. Honestly, you're activating so much. You're really strengthening, toning, and trimming the uh, core way more than you would even with just a classic sit-up. There's multiple core muscles being activated there, so even more. Your legs are being utilized. There's blood flowing. You're feeling it. I love bicycles. These this is going to sound like a dumb question. Yes. Um, I stand back? But all of this twisting... Yeah. Um, there's no chance you're doing any damage to, cause there's a lot of stuff going on in here. That's all sure. the organs from anatomy class are all in this area. And if you're, you're twisting everything up, it's like little organ earthquakes. Like it's not <laughs> bad for your, uh, like well, I'm not, I'm not doing... like wringing out my kidneys the way I shouldn't. And they're like just getting wrung out like a sponge into the inside of my body. Mark, <laughs> did you take health class in the dark ages? <laughs> As, uh, here's the thing about leeching, y'all. Yeah. If I just put leeches on my body, I'll be fine. Will this affect my humors? Also, I love that Sydney just got down on the ground and was like, these bozos, I'm going to demonstrate this one. <laughs> um, so I'm, okay. But I want to try this bicycle. Okay, there you go. So Legs and tabletop, so knees are right over the hips. It is really tempting to try and press my lower back into the ground. <clears throat> Correct, but you don't want to jam it down. Right. You want to think of the... You think of the activation in your center, so don't just let the abs hang out. Right. Engage. Lift the chin off the chest. Elevate the head. Open the elbows wide. Okay. Bend your right knee towards your chest. Now twist the left elbow past that knee. Past the knee? There you go. It can't even get it to the knee. Okay, now switch. Second side. Switch. Okay, switch. All right. Switch. 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 It looks like I'm riding switch. a bicycle. Faster. Go. Go, 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 go. Chin off your chest. Go. It's three. It's two. Stretch it out. Uh, <laughs> Yay! <yeah. Woo. laughs> Should have done that sideways. You guys were all just <laughs> looking at the soles of my shoes. I'll do it sideways. All right. I'll go sideways. Okay, you going to go some bicycles, go. Hal? What? <laughs> <laughs> Bicycle. <laughs> I feel like, did you just fall asleep? <laughs> My heart rate right now, 111 beats per minute. Not bad. Let's see what it Wait, is it after. It went right? down okay. 111? No, it went up a little bit and then down. I think I haven't measured it right after the working out. I'll, I'll try it this time. Okay, here we go. I'm really going to go for it. <laughs> this is, I'm, not, I'm not effing around, people. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Your microphone's right. nicer than mine. Bend those knees. So knees are over the hips. Okay, there you go. Chin off the chest. Let the head fall into the palms. How you feeling? <laughs> Great. This is very natural for me. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I sleep. Okay. <laughs> 
Don't just leave him like this. Sydney. You comedians, I'm you. I'm okay. shaking right now like a chihuahua in a room full of people. <laughs> what do you think? Like okay. the chihuahua and the eyes are looking out to the sides and it's just like the tongue's going crazy. All right, I'm ready. Here we go. Bend your right knee in. Stretch your left leg long. Twist. Twist. There you go. Chin off your chest, though. So the, there you go. There you go. Good yeah, job, hell. Hal. Yeah, there hell. There you go. Good All job, right. Hal. Okay. <laughs> now he does. Uh, this was, mark it. This is the day we lost Hal. Exactly. What's your heart rate? Hold on. Let me check. Hold on. Are you checking email on your Apple Watch? Oh, it's fine. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how to do it. Wait. <laughs> can't, can't make a check. Bill Lublin, your father would not be happy with you not knowing how to use your Apple Watch. I'm happy about this. It's measuring. Measuring. <laughs> measuring. Can't find it. Measuring. Oh, God. He has no pulse. <laughs> 104. Look at that. It's getting better. My cardio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Al. Right. Okay. Um, all right. So let's look at the big board. Okay. Um, that was bicycles. Uh, let's talk about... Uh, we're we're going to do all three of these together, and then we're going to see if any of the three yes. beats the... Uh, the classic setup. Let's talk about the, pl- what is a plank, no, plank series? Plank series. What's this? Okay. I thought it was Ready? just going to be a plank. Okay. Uh oh, I don't want to do anything with the microphone here. Okay, so here we go. So. Lift your, lift your right foot up and I'll pull this out from under it. Oh. Great. There you okay. Go. So, plank series. We're going to drop down to one forearm, second forearm, up to the palm, up to the opposite palm. Here we Who's go. Who's brave down, enough to do it out down, there? Down, up, up. Down, down, switch to side two. You're down, down, up, up, down, down. Hold plank for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Get down to your forearms. Hold. Feet touch. Nice and strong. There's so much we can do here. Should I just keep going? You're doing choreography. <laughs> yeah. I said it was a series. That, I know. This, this is, you're on like season so- three of this series. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite series. It's a great series. Um, I'm going to give you your mic back. Okay. Um, Can I that, ask a, a quick question? Yeah. Yes. Uh, about this exercise? Yes. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> because it's time. All right. Fair enough. Here we go. It's All time. All right. Are we, let's do it at the same time, Hal. <laughs> That's the also challenge. what the Grim Reaper is going to say to me when I'm done with this. <laughs> it's a challenge. All right. Hal. Here we go. Okay. Here we challenge, go. Challenge. Challenge. Here we go. Here we go. I think everybody else needs to do this. Everybody, let's go. I know. Here we go. Ready? Right forearm. Uh-huh. Left forearm. Up, this right is so forearm. bad. Down. Down. Uh-huh. Up. Uh-huh. Switch to the second side. So left, right, <laughs> left, right. I'm doing it, you guys. Left, right. You people listening at home. It's happening. Sydney, I got this. You may want to go check on Hal. I'm fine. I'm doing okay. Down to the forearm. Hold. Pass the hands together. It's happening, guys. Hold. All these people at home. Who can hear me? Seven, Send help. Six, Please. Five, get a time machine. Four, three, Send help. Up to the palm. Right palm. Oh, God. Oh. Down the palm. Nope. All right. Four, I'm down on the ground. Four, I'm down on the ground, everybody. Three, two, stretch it back. I made it. I got down to the ground early. Good job, everybody. Nicely right. done. Well done. Now that is... Well done. I feel like we may have... Well, first, let's well, let's talk about the boat. We haven't talked about the boat. Yeah, boat pose. So it's an isometric hold. So it means you're keeping the engagement of the core. So boat pose, modification... While everyone's moving. Heels down on the ground as a modification. But a boat pose, your feet are elevated up off the floor. Okay. <laughs> I'll, hold I'll on. Help yourself just, up here. I'm All just right. laying on hands the ground. Hands out. Hands reach out. Legs up. Hold. So you find that activation in your core. Even further, lengthen the legs nice and long. Oh, there you go. Hold it. <laughs> Hold it. Yes. Look at everybody. I'm I rolling like over it. my side. For eight. To, so, uh, seven. Seven. Six. six. Mark, six. don't try and get out of it. Yeah, Mark. Seven. Stop trying to get out of it. Six. 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 Five. Five. Four. 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 Four, 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 three, two, one, three, two, and one. Yeah. Sydney, did you say six three times because you're the devil? You know Maybe. what? Maybe no. The best part of that mark is that we both did that exercise for the exact same amount of time. Yep. What and a, as everyone else in the room, and this many people doing a boat pose, we're like a navy now, right? Yes. Yeah. This we're is like, like a whole sea we're of boats. We're a team. Yeah. We are. We we are, yeah. We're like we're, Dunkirk. We're just a bunch of. 
people with boats. <laughs> just, just, just waiting Dunkirk. to go pick up British soldiers. <laughs> I feel like that movie is all about how nobody says Dern- Dunkirk the same way. <laughs> but that's all I could get for the trailer. There's Dunkirk, there's Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Yeah. I never saw the movie, so I can't comment. Me neither. Very good, you guys. Me neither. Let's good. do it anyway. We can be like um, on Rotten Tomatoes. All right. So that's all of those moves. Okay. Of these uh, classic moves here, I feel like – I know I have a favorite doing all of them that feels like it does enough things the but most. isn't going to destroy my body. Okay. And? And that's the Plank series. Love the Plank series. Yep. Um, but I feel like it's very close to a push-up, so you have to think about these things. You're in the same kind of body placement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you're we, working a lot of the same things. You're working, you're working a lot of the same muscle groups. The core is key um, in this particular move. I'm personally gonna have to go with the bicycle. That's okay. my personal choice. What about you, Hal? It's very interesting. I feel like Solomon. I know. <laughs> That's the one that I'm going, brings out your organs. I'm going to cut one of these exercises in half. If you don't decide. <laughs> no, I I actually like the bicycle as well. Okay. Because it's engaging the core. You're moving your leg. Like it's a little bit of cardio. Yep. A little bit of strength. Yep. Um, and a lot of core. Right. And I, I dig that. I can't do it for very long, but it feels like something. I would feel like if I got to the point where I was doing that a lot and doing it like really well with good form, that I that would be a good like uh, indicator that I had reached another plateau of being in shape. Well, that's a wonderful comment. All right. So it sounds like we I'm have a winner. I'm going bicycles. The bicycle sounds great bicycles? to me. Bicycles, guys. Okay. Bicycles. 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 Great. Okay. So uh, we, right now we've got uh, two of them down. We've got uh, in the strength category, push-ups. In the core category, bicycles. Yes. Why don't we take a quick break uh, yeah. for the podcast audience uh, while you hear about some of the other wonderful shows on the Maximum Fun Network. In a world. Dominated by Dude Bro Movie Podcasts. A world where Casey Affleck has an Oscar and Angela Bassett does not. Only one podcast is brave enough to call bullsh. Who shot ya? With Ricky Carmona. A lot of people don't know Porgs, Puerto Rican. Alonzo Duralde. I would eat oak jaw. <gasps> April Wolf. I want to interrupt and say yes. that the fish man was real sexy. Drea Clark. I have a real soft spot for King Kong. And women of color. I was like, damn! Right, Kugel got final cut! Kugel got final cut! I just felt like the film was so sour and so completely irrelevant to basically anything in life. Who shot ya? Listen every Friday. Friday on Maximum Fun or wherever you get your podcasts. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, love it. Uh, good oh, stuff. Man, every time. Uh, well, I hope that you're enjoying this podcast you're listening to as much as we are pretending to. But anyway, why not listen to another podcast too? It's called The Flop House. And on our podcast, uh, we have recently watched a movie, often a bad movie. And we review it on our podcast, but mainly talk about other stuff and, I don't know, hang out. It's all about hanging out. Feeling you're, like you're being with your best friends. Who are your best friends? Us three. Dan McCoy, <laughs> Emmy Award-winning writer for The Daily Show. Stuart Wellington, owner of the best bar in Brooklyn, Hinterlands. And Elliot Kalin, former Emmy-winning head writer for The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. Former head writer of Mystery Science Theater 3000, The Return. Uh, so many things. Author of the upcoming children's book. All right, Dog. that's enough. The Elliot's credits just go on and on. Yeah, but if you like the idea of listening to three funny guys talk about bad movies, then why not come over and listen to The Flop House? It's uh, available at MaximumFun.org or wherever fine podcasts are found. So get out of here. And we're back. <laughs> wow. How you guys feeling? You good? We're good. All right. All right. We'll all get right. through the rest of these faster. I know. We're going, yeah, we're we going gotta, long. We, we're going long. Especially with cardio. Cardio. Cardio's easy. Three. All right. I'm okay. going to read the list. Everybody up. Everybody up. Here we go. Are you ready, Mark? Yep. Read them uh, off. The last one, nobody please attempt it in this room. <laughs> please. They are. These are our top cardio choices. Jumping jacks, football runs, free dancing, boxing, and sex. Nobody try sex in the room right now uh, because it's a studio. and We're going to go with jumping jacks, football runs, free dancing, and boxing. Okay. These are our cardio choices. Sydney, take go. it away. We're just starting. We're going. Ready? Jumping jacks, guys. Up. Up. 
Yeah, nice. Feet are wide, arms lift up. I'm Keep going. Out of, I'm out of sync God. immediately. If you need to modify, you tap one foot out at a time so there's no jumping. It's up to you. Come on, up and up. Hey, now it's eight. It's seven. Yeah. It's six. It's five. What? It's four. And three. We're going right into the next one. Football runs. Go. Nice, fast feet. You're oh, low in the run. legs. My pants Tight are falling board. down. Faster, a faster. You're at booty work, so you need to really shake that booty. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. I can it, get it. the same effect hey talking now. into a fan. <laughs> exactly. Shake it, shake it faster, guys. Lower, oh lower, lower. We got it. Now, free dancing to silent music. Here we go. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that song. Now, boxing. Here we so It's boxing back to Rocky. Is, okay, then it's up to your own interpretation. Either we're just kind of punch it side to side. Punch it. Punch it. Ha. Ha. Hit it. Hit it. Out. Out. Yeah, now take an uppercut. Up. Oh, up. Oh, hey. Up. Oh. Up, nice. Yeah, you guys are tough. Let's go. It's eight. Come on, six. Knock someone out. Knock someone out. Hey, it's four, three, two, one. Don't attempt the last thing. Right now. All right. Please. Um, so of all of those moves, tell us what makes a great cardio move a great cardio move. Well, listen, if people are smiling, that's like the ultimate. Right. That's, that's the ultimate gift. Oh, how you doing, Hal? <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? One forty six. Yeah, one forty six. Hey, I'm in my that's zone. Some good cardio. Okay, so jumping jacks are a classic. Everybody knows a jumping jack. You're working your legs. You're working your abs. You're working your arms. Lots happening. You're jumping, so there's high impact. There's a lot happening there. Now, football runs, you're grounded, you're low, you're close to the ground. I actually think that's a, this particular move is a really challenging one because it's really up to you to push yourself. On a football run, it's not like you can't poke around, right? you got to move it as fast mm-hmm. as you can, um, and that activates my heart quite a bit. Do you guys feel that too? Yeah. That. Um, and then free dancing. Free dancing is great. Yeah. Free dancing is my winner for this. When you said the most important thing was the smile. Yeah. Just randomly dancing. I was doing it in the car on the way over here to the soundtrack to The Greatest Showman. If you guys haven't seen it, it's fantastic, (laughs) right? It's so good. Yeah. This is the greatest show. Sorry. Uh, So I was dancing in the car. Like that to me. In this outfit? Well, I had my hoodie on over it because <laughs> this is for the show, y'all. <laughs> but okay, and then boxing. Boxing is awesome. I think of Billy Billy Blanks, Blanks. Tybo. Sure, sure. He's he's a gem. He never actually fought anyone, though. Not in a ring, right? Well, I'm not sure. Actually, you would have to ask Billy. I'm pretty sure he was a boxer. Was he actually yeah. a boxer? I don't I think know. He, probably. Probably. He was in an action movie. What action movie? <laughs> I don't know the name of it either. <laughs> it wasn't a very popular one, but I know he was in one. Okay. But like at the height of Tai Bo, it was probably like, uh, yeah. we're going to lose the youth center unless somebody can fight this giant kickboxer <laughs> from Thailand. <laughs> but does anybody know how to do it with rhythm? And then in comes Billy, Billy. Blag, like, I've got a system. It's <laughs> kicking and punching and dancing, but not really any of those things. <laughs> and, you know, I'll tell you people, <laughs> by the end of that movie... He was a winner, and they all were winners. <laughs> Did they, they save the youth in center? themselves? No, it was actually torn down and oh. condemned. <laughs> <laughs> but they Darn believed it. in themselves, and that was the moral. You know what? That's, that's the well. most important thing. Yeah. Okay, so Mark, what do you think here? Uh, free dancing for free me dancing. is my is How? my big winner. I think dancing is something you do when you're happy, and it was the happiest part of that for me. Like I enjoyed it the most. I was like, yeah, now I'm doing my own thing and and being free. I like That's free true. dancing too. Yeah, yeah. dancing's our winner. Yeah. All right, yay! <laughs> All right, combo. We're on to our final category, and Home then we're stretch. going to, uh, and then we're going to pick the overall winner of uh, the entire thing. Okay. Uh, and we have a method that we usually do to do that, but we'll get to that okay. in a moment. Uh, describe. <laughs> Uh, you had me writing these down. You were like, this one, and then this one. I was like, I don't know what any of these are as I was writing them, except burpees, just because I remembered that word. So please do a burpee right oh, now. Oh, I don't remember what it looks like. <laughs> I just remember the okay. word. I remember there was a jumping part and a yes. floor part. Yes. So uh, This category, by the way, for those listening who have not seen the board, this is combos. This is combinations, uh, classic combinations, like the peanut butter and jelly of working out. Sure. Great. Okay, so should I example a burpee? Please. All right, let's do it. Okay, so you can modify, but it's advanced burpee. If you rise up, you reach back, you drop all the way down. Don't your feet up, rise up, back down, up, rise, back down, lift up. So we're going to do that together. Now, okay. modification. Modification. 
<laughs> Thank God there's a modification. Plant the palm, step one foot back, the opposing foot back, bring one foot forward, the other foot forward, lift up. So down, step, step, forward, forward, rise. Down, back, back, step, forward, forward, rise. Now, okay. a more advanced version of that is lift up, palm down, jump back, jump in, lift up. That's the medium. That's the medium. Okay. Here medium. Down, jump back, jump in, rise up. Advance one more time. Advance one more time. Back down to the belly, jump in, rise up. Okay, so the advanced, it looks like the idea is just... Get yourself as far away from the floor as possible, and then immediately you get yourself as close to the floor as possible. Basically, yes. And then repeat. Yes. All right. I want to try that version. That looked fun. So okay. you and the floor, like a real <laughs> Ross and Rachel, you're yeah. together and apart. Will go. they? Won't they? <laughs> Here we go. Wait. Careful of the. Yep. All right. Everyone's go doing. Ahead, Mark. Modify. Modify, modify what you need. Be really gentle with your body. My first one is going to be the hard one. Okay. Likely going to modify. Okay, ready? Let's do it. Go. Got it, buddy. Up. There you go. Down. Let's just do yes. It. Nice. Pull. Lower. Go yeah. Down. Nice, Move everybody. In. Did it. Down. Here goes number Lower. two. He's doing it clean. Excellent. Look at him. Look at He's him. Two. Champ. Let's go for three. If you're listening to this, you can go to our Facebook group. We will have the video nice. there. We'll post it for you to watch. Look at you guys. Not go. just for the live stream. If you're watching on the live stream right now, how about Mark? Yeah. Great job, buddy. Yo, good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. High five. All right. Way, so that was uh, that was the burpee. By the way, you were very jazzed after that. Look, yeah, I yeah. know. He's like, like very jazzed. Yeah, so much. I'm ready to go, y'all. Like, it's like I just danced to the greatest yeah. showman in the car. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's talk about the overhead squat plank row combo. Okay, so this one actually usually requires weights. Okay. Um, but since we don't have them, I don't think we should use them. Not these little ones won't work? We can if you'd like to, but everybody's going to do this together. Great. Then okay? we won't use weights either. We're not going to use weights. So you're in a, you're in a squat. You're, you're basically, if you had weights, hands would be up to your For those of you at home, you're in a squat. Yeah. Hands at your shoulders. Yeah. Down, rise up. Down. Down. Weights down. Put the weights Jump down. Back. Jump back. Jump. a plank. Row your right arm. And Do a then row, your left arm, and then another row, and then jump your feet back. And you jump, lift up. You lift up, and that's a down. thing. You do that okay. with the weights. Down. The weights go down. Jump You're down. Row. They got a row going here. The another row's going. But then you think it's over. Jump back, and now she stands up. I can't. I can't and that's with you. one. <laughs> Now do 200 of them. <laughs> 200. Um, I'm, I'll try this one. Okay. Mark. All right, Hal. Good job, You got Hal. this, baby. You all got right. this. Okay. We got this. We got this. We, we all got, got this. this. Yo, this is the most literal we got this. <laughs> all right, we got this. Like, we have to keep saying it over Seriously. and over in this episode. Exactly. Okay, right, go for sure. it. Oh, okay. Uh, what do I do? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, I can do it. Hold on. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. Everybody's doing this. Right up. Row one arm, row the second arm, and then either step one foot forward or jump your feet forward, rise up. Then down, rise, down, jump back, row, glutes down, row. <laughs> your glutes down. And <laughs> rise up. Hal, how are you going to kick it? Going to kick it glutes down? Well done. Um, so does this, uh, does this suffer f- from requiring? Yes, I'm suffering. <laughs> does this suffer from Hal suffering? Uh, no, does this suffer from requiring extra equipment? Uh, or do you not really even need the extra equipment? You can do it without the extra equipment. It's not required. You are actually, when you think about it on a squat, we went over this in spring to do the wind. Oh, it's dead to us forever then. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh, there's my mic. Here we go. You're really activating the lower part of the body. And then once you get down to the ground, the entire body's being worked and then you're rowing. So you're really utilizing the upper back. There's a cardio element because you're still having to jump your feet forward, rise back up. So you're working really everything from the shoulders to the core, to the chest, to the upper back, to the glutes. I mean, ev- everything's being worked. I think it's a really beautiful movement. Do you think that uh, this combo, the overhead uh, squat uh, plank row, uh, beats the burpee? 
Well, the bur- here's the thing. With the overhead squat with a plank row, you can do that particular movement with weights. Mm. On a burpee, you can't. So it's really, it's, with a burpee, there, you can really make it about speed. Mm-hmm. So it's a more cardio based movement. Whereas the overhead squat into a plank row is more strength. I have a question. Yes. You're, you're someone who studied the human body. Yes. And you're very attuned to what different things mean. Mm-hmm. For this thing we just did that I already forgot the name of. (laughs) When you go down on your fists, is it bad? Or maybe better question, what does it mean when it feels like all of your fingers are going to dislocate? (laughs) You can put your palms down. Put your palms down. Fine. <laughs> I, I accept your premise. Okay, fair um, enough. Okay, so there, those, we've well, got the, two yeah, you know what? That begs, that yes. begs the question. Um, the, the age old question, I guess. Uh, what is more important to you? You have to pick one. Cardio or strength pizza. training? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you say cardio or pizza? pizza? Listen, I love cardio. I'm partial to it. Mm-hmm. Um, in dance, you know, studying dance for so many years, it was always about how long can you go? We were in rehearsals all day. It was really about building up the stamina. But as I get older, the strength training really is more important for the strength of your body and the functionality of your body. So on this one, I'm going to have to go with an overhead squat into a a plank row so far. Yes. I like that too. That's, uh, I I did not know that that's, that, uh, that's a good thing to know. Yeah. That physical, you know, that, who knew physical activity would, you know, make your body work a little better than holy cow, it's doing right now. Oh boy. All right. Okay. So, um, we're going to eliminate the burpee. Okay. Uh, squat jumps. What's a squat jump? Sure. So, yeah, you can do it in repetition. You can go down. Yeah. Okay. Down. 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 Up. Down. Up. She's doing like a squat, but almost like she's. Thinking a lot. Now she's yelling. We're all doing it. Arms going. And the this now this jumping. definitely is the Richard Simmonsiest looking yeah. of all the moves that we've done. This is and the most sweat into the oldies move. I love him. Yeah. I Just love for Richard. The people listening, when you jump, your arms yes. go out like your rose on the Titanic. Like yeah. you're flying. Yeah. Like you're king of the world. Like, <laughs> throw him out there and I feel the die. ocean. Yeah. Like you're Michael Jordan. Like, Against the monsters. This, Throw your arms out. This one is definitely fun. <laughs> it's yeah. fun. I like this one a lot. Uh, it, I don't know that it's as difficult in doing as much as the other moves. I completely agree. I think it's a really fun move. I think it, I think the burpee, if we're comparing now between a burpee and a squat jump, a burpee wins over a squat jump. But a burpee doesn't be uh, over- an overhead squat plank row. Correct mundo. And the best is still a royal flush. Yes. Great. Okay. Uh, so, uh, oh, and the last one, uh, is, uh, a variation, I guess it seems like the yoga version of, uh, a burpee. Yes. The, uh, the yoga vinyasa flow. Vinyasa flow. Can you demonstrate one of these for us? Okay, sure. Here we go. This is a, this is a combination of a lot of different uh-huh. yoga poses. And everybody's doing it. Slow the body forward. Inhale, flat back, long spine. Exhale, palms down, cross of a plank. Hold. You're gonna lower your tricep, push up, so bend the elbows tight to the body. Inhale, lift up, elevate. So she's doing like a seal on the beach, like that kind of thing. That's what it is. She was standing. Now she's doing like, like when a dog walks in, like they know they've done something wrong, and they're. You know, their head is down, if they're ashamed. You get flat back, then you go back down, you're like, oh, forgot my keys, I dropped those. And you go up, and you're like, I can't wait to raise my arms up. Because it's morning, and I'm, I'm doing my stretch. So that was a vinyasa flow. That's a vinyasa flow. Which is a lot more calming than... It, yeah. Than a strength exercise, like an overhead squat with right. a plank row. It's I not know. something that you do a million reps of. No. Right. Well, you actually do do a million reps of yeah, those in a yoga class. Yeah, but there's all kinds class. of like, I'm a huge fan of yoga class. I, yes. I just wanted, that was why I wanted to put something yoga related on here sure. because I'm a, I'm a big fan and I love it because it's very gentle working out. It is, but there's a lot happening. And when you're, yeah. when you're working and you're aware of the right muscle groups that are being activated, your body does really start to change. Yeah. Oh, I love it. it mm. It's, it feels like a combination of working out and waking up in the morning. Oh, that's nice. Like, 
Do you like yoga done. hell? I do, not as much as my wife who is operating the Facebook Live camera right now. Uh, she takes like vinyasa flow classes and I went to one with her. Sure. Um, and the teacher was like, the like, he was very nice. Well, his probably name was probably like Chad or whatever. And he's like, all right, really <laughs> Chaturanga, come down on, on vinyasa flow. We're going to go down there. <laughs> but you know, when you can't, when you're in a yoga class, for those of you who have not taken one, and you get to a point where you're like, this is too difficult for me. You go into a rest, which is like the child's pose, where you look like um, Jenny in Forrest Gump, like before she gets taken away and put in a safer environment, like she's hiding. Yeah, like you're down. It's a good sort of like gentle stretch. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I spent a lot of it in child's pose. And the, the teacher, <laughs> bless his heart, kept coming over and being like, you know, if you need to take a break. And then I had probably spent about 90% of the class in child's pose. <laughs> he came over to me and said, you're doing a great job. <laughs> and that was when I learned that it was all a lie. <laughs> he was just trying to get me to stay in that class. I was not doing a great job. I was doing the best job I could do. Well, that which means was fine. you were doing a great job. But also, don't come over and patronize me. Say, <laughs> you're doing a great job of a child's pose. I'm like, I'm fine. I get like, I'm, I'm happy with where I am and what I'm working on. I don't need you to come over and coach me, Chad, <laughs> with your abs. <laughs> Stop helping my wife. <laughs> she doesn't need that many adjustments. Um, all right, but we're talking about uh, higher impact exercise moves here. So yes. I feel like we may have to sadly say goodbye to the vinyasa flow. Is yes. That... Yes. Oh, namaste, vinyasa flow. Namaste, vinyasa flow. Vinyasa namaste. flow. And we never thought of a bit for the extra, so we'll delete that yeah. too. Yeah. Because we're low on time. So, okay, like so a... we've, we've got our four. We've got our four. Yeah. So, okay. so, so we have the winners. We have, uh, that means I, there were so many other extra words on there. So the overhead squat and plank row combo yes, yes. is the survivor of the combo portion. So for those listening at home, those on Facebook Live and those in the room who just can't read this faint green writing on this board, <laughs> uh, we have our final four. Yes. Uh, Hal, be thinking about how we're going to do this. Uh, our <laughs> final four. You yep. know what I mean? Um, our final four are push-ups. In the strength category, bicycles in the core category, free dancing in the cardio category, and overhead squat and plank row in the combo category. That is what we are dealing with. How okay. how are we going to work this out? I'm going to start. We're going to eliminate one at a time. I'll go, and then you go, Mark. And then I'll go, and then yeah. Sydney go. So we'll go this go. way. Okay, yeah. Okay. We'll go around uh, clockwise. We are going to one right. by one eliminate... Uh, items from this list. I'm gonna going to start and eliminate the push-up for the reason that I brought up earlier, that it's not easily democratized. It's too, uh, they're too, like, you're, you're forced to be, uh, in a modified version until you can do the full version. I think some of these other ones, you can do a full version of it and all be doing it together. And I think that's... Do you like the synchronicity of a movement? I like the synchronicity. That's, okay. that is important to me. Okay. So the push-up is gone. Okay. The push-up is gone. All right. There are three left. I will go next. I'm looking at bicycles, free dance, and the overhead squat and plank row. So looking at this, I, we just talked about it and I think it's wonderful, but because, because I'm a, I, and I'm a big fan of these. The, the Olympics are happening right now. This is definitely the bronze medalist in my mind. Okay. But I feel like there's a gold and a silver. I'm going to eliminate the overhead squat plank row. M- partly because it's the first time I've ever put those four words together uh, <laughs> okay. into a combination was tonight. So, Sydney, it comes down to you as our guest. Uh, we always like to leave it up to our guest to make the ultimate oh. decision on we got this, Easily. which really just means you got this. Easily. I can I can. You can tell us what the winner is yes. between bicycles and free dance. There's nobody that loves free dance more than me. I, I mean, honestly, I. I dance my way through life. <laughs> you see me in the car, I'm dancing. Sure. I mean, I'm whipping my hair around. I mean, I'm, I'm always dancing. So is Every dancing, night. is dancing the ultimate winner as? It's just the ultimate way to move. The greatest exercise yeah. move of all time. Is, Hal, uh, if you will. People of the world, <laughs> dance like nobody's watching. And even if they are watching, dance even harder. Express the joy that's within you. I don't care if you dance like one of the Peanuts kids at Christmas time, <laughs> if you're going crazy like a, like Alex and Flash Dance, or if you're just doing your own little head bob, getting your neck stretched out, 
maybe work the shoulders in, then the arms go, then the midsection goes, then the legs go. And guess what? You're doing a happy dance. It feels great. And when you're done, you're like, hey, did I just work out? Guess what? You did. <laughs> Best exercise move asked and answered free dancing. Everybody give a big round of applause Yay! to our guest, Sydney Bass. Yes. Thank you, Sydney. Ah. Uh. Uh, this, I'm so happy that dancing won. That makes me very happy. Yeah. The greatest As exercise move of all time has been closed once and for all. It is dancing permanently, but there are many more topics to discuss. So please, this is for so please reach out to us on Twitter at We Got This Tweets or check out the Maximum Fun subreddit or you can email us at We Got This Podcast at gmail.com or go to the Facebook group, which is watching this little live stream right now. The video will be available later. That's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash We Got This Podcast. Sydney, will you tell everybody about Booty Works and the stuff you're doing here and people yes. in the LA area where they can come find you and work out with you? Yes, I would love it. So I'm Sydney Benner. You can find me at Sydney Benner on Instagram and all the different social media places. I created Flight. It's right here at Booty Works. And we love Booty Works, by the way. Booty Works is a super innovative studio. It's right here in Sherman Oaks. Give it up for Booty Give Works. Give it up for y'all. Booty Works. Yeah. Yes. Booty Danielle Works. And yes. Who Please. Us out. And all of our amazing sponsors from RX Bars to Vita Coco to Ving Vodka, Kale Infused Vodka. You guys. And to Brew Dr. Kombucha, just the best kombucha ever. To Athleta. I'm wearing Athleta, actually. And um, you can find my fitness program, Flight, at We Are Flight on Instagram. And the website is TakeFlightFit.com. Catch classes all over the place. Uh, and that also just leaves us to thank uh, our amazing music- musicians, Jonathan Dinerstein and Mike Furman, for our score and theme song, respectively. Thank you to producer Ken Plume, researcher Kate McManus, graphic designer Uri Kelman, and QA engineer Jen Alba. And thank you, as always, to you, our listeners and our viewers in the Facebook group right now. What's up, y'all? And to everyone in this room, uh, <laughs> uh, friends of the show, new and old, uh, and to everyone listening at home, Thank you for giving us an opportunity to uh, feel like we're getting a little more fit, and we hope that by our ridiculous example, uh, we can uh, everybody in the world can get fit if Hal and I can do it, right? Yeah. Uh, so thank you, everyone, so much. For Hal Lublin, I'm Mark Gagliardi. For Mark Gagliardi, I'm Hal Lublin, and don't worry, everybody. We, we got, got this. this. We got this. Thank you. Woo! Thanks, thank y'all. You. Maximumfun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist-owned. Listener supported.